welcome back we will continuing with the remaining part of uh, physical evaluation so today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, spectroscopy fluorescence analysis capillary analysis luminescence analysis and capillary luminescence analysis So what do you mean by spectroscopy? So here, spectroscopy is a study of interaction between the matter and electromagnetic radiation. So there are different types of spectroscopic studies like the UV and visible spectroscopy or otherwise it is called as spectrophotometry, atomic absorption spectroscopy, atomic emission spectroscopy, infrared spectroscopy and nuclear magnetic resonance that is NMR. So in ultraviolet spectroscopy we are uh, more uh, describing about uh, UV and uh, visible spectroscopy. So here, the measurement of the light absorptions are made with spectrophotometers. The wavelength at which the measurement is to be made may be in ultraviolet region as specified in the main text of the monograph. You know, the monograph is given in the pharmacopoeia. When the radiation is passed through a homogeneous solution containing an absorbing substance, the part of the radiation is absorbed and intensity of the radiation emerging from the solution is less than intensity of the radiation entering it. So this property of light absorption is used to identify the drug substance. So this is about the, the principle behind spectroscopy that is a UV and visible spectroscopy. And these are the different uh, types of uh, spectrophotometers. The first one is absorption, atomic absorption spectroscopy, then uh, infrared spectroscopy, then nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, then UV visible spectrophotometer. Next, we're going to discuss uh, about uh, fluorescence analysis. So, what do you mean by fluorescence analysis? So here the reaction of certain drugs either in powdered form or on the smooth section surfaces with filtered UV light helping identification and purity. So in this type of analytical test, this is used to identify the adulterant and to confirm the purity of the powdered drug of sectioned parts of the drug substance with the help of ultraviolet ray. A distinct, a specific fluorescence or color gives a suggestion of a particular drug, substance used or alkaloid. For example, we have Rolfia will give you uh, blue color, Econite, Econitin, that is alkaloid, will give you light blue color. Berberin, Berberin is an alkaloid which is found in many drug substances like Berberis vulgaris, Berberis acifolium, hydrastics, etc. will give you yellow color. Emitin, which is an alkaloid of epicac, will give you an orange color. Next one is capillary analysis. Capillary analysis is a very efficient and simple method and extremely useful in the analysis of mother tinges and especially the uh, lower dilutions. So here the principle is a standard filter paper is dipped in the tincture to be tested on which the liquid rises by a sort of capillary suction. After fixed time, the paper is removed and dried and it is compared. 
materials required a glass vessel to take the drug in liquid form which are cylindrical about 5 cm height and 3 cm diameter a filter paper which is cut into stripes of 2 cm breadth and 2 cm length wooden stand with hooks and the method is the liquid is kept in a cylindrical vessel on the stand and filter papers are hung from the hooks so that the paper almost touches the bottom of the glass vessel they are allowed to stand like this for 24 hours the major part of the liquid will be absorbed by the filter paper by the capillary attraction care should be taken that the paper does not touch the side of the glass vessel and after 24 hours the papers are removed and dried at the room temperature so there are some factors which can influence the capillary rise so what are the factors humidity the capillary rise is directly proportional to humidity so once uh, uh, humidity increases the capillary rise also will increase now temperature capillary rise is inversely proportional to the increase in temperature so if the temperature is more then the capillary rise rise will be less so vehicle used to preparation of medicines the capillary rise is inversely proportional to the increase in the strength of alcohol and here the alcohol content is more then the capillary rise will be less now how to evaluate the result of capillary analysis so there are two zones of color intensity on filter paper the bottom zone contain mainly alcohol soluble constituents and the top zone contain the water soluble constituents the color of the zone depending on the constituents on each drug a properly dried paper could be kept for years and could be compared with the any fresh sample whenever it is necessary so that is about the capillary analysis now the next one is luminescence analysis so what do you mean by luminescence analysis so this is uh, a property of certain substances to absorb ultraviolet rays and the pattern of reflecting the light appearing themselves which is too much brighter this phenomenon of absorbing the light rays with wavelength beyond the range of human vision and reflecting them back in rays within the range of human vision is slightly different with different substances so it is a primarily about absorbing the ultraviolet rays and reflecting back to the visible light so this property is made use in identifying uh, such drug substances and the medicine could be tested directly under ultraviolet lamp taking about 1.5 ml of tincture with a small reagent glass or mixing with some suitable reagents in the presence of uv light but this property can uh, exhibit only by certain types of drug, uh, drugs or uh, mother tinctures example uh, hydrastis has a lumina luminescence of uh, grayish blue to greenish blue color and next one is capillary luminescence analysis so here in capillary luminescence analysis it is a combination of both the capillary analysis and luminescence test the filter paper after testing the mother tincture of capillary analysis dry properly and observed under ultraviolet lamp so what are the uh, so this is a combination of both capillary analysis and luminescence analysis that's all now what what are the advantages of this analysis so certain drugs which does not normally show any luminescence in a solution show a definite luminescence after capillary analysis under ultraviolet light the capillary analysis separates the components of the drugs to a certain extent and further the luminous luminescence show the property of these compounds so uh, simply if in luminescent analysis the the mother tincture or the drug will show the activity but a capillary luminescence analysis uh, the constituents will be separated and this separated uh, constituents will give you a luminescence analysis 
and third advantage is uh, adding a different strength reagents like uh, potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide ammonia and hcl on the filter paper after drying may give a different variety of capillary analysis picture with the different colors and variety of luminescence so uh, this is about the different types of uh, uh, analytical test which comes in uh, physical evaluation so once again i will brief the processes which is given in physical evaluation so they are determination of physical constants so what are physical constants they are solubility specific gravity boiling point melting point congealing temperature refractive index optical rotation alcohol content weight per ml ph value total solid water content or loss on drying then th these are physical constants then other analytical methods are chromatographic study ultraviolet visible spectroscopy fluorescent test capillary analysis luminescent analysis capillary luminescence analysis and electrophoresis so this is all about physical evaluation and uh, the topic on uh, physical evaluation and standardization is over